Let's yeah. segue a little bit towards the world, but start with computer chess, where computers are. What's happened that you didn't expect for these are, you know, a few people are very knowledgeable about it, but most really don't. I became world champion in 1985. So I quit chess in 2005. So as the world champion, I was, you may say, presiding over the period where machine came from a total oblivion, so they were so weak, to virtually being unbeatable. So I don't know whether I was lucky or, or what. So it's, a, it's, I remember in 1985, uh, even just before I won the match, so summer 1985, I played a simultaneous exhibition uh, at the 32 boards against 32 computers. Okay, that's probably some, you know. Hard to imagine yeah, today. Yeah, but it's, uh, again, today, definitely for kids who are, who are under 20, so it's just, uh, it's something from the 19th century. It's, it's from the Stone Age, but they were chess computers. Some of them were carrying my name, so it's the, and uh, uh, there were uh, four uh, chess com computer manufacturers, and each had eight, eight models. So I won all games, 32 games. So that's, that tells you something about the strengths. So 10 years later, it was tough. You know, a few more, uh, it's 10 more after, uh, 20 years later, it was virtually impossible. So um, it, I think it's people just, again, they, they are mistaken thinking that machine plays, uh, machine, machine is virtually unbeatable because it sees everything. It calculates millions and millions of positions per second. It has huge database. Yeah, definitely the, the brute force of calculation. It's, 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 that's why machine is so strong. But it, a part of that, uh, it's, it's also psychology. Normal human game, and it's a normal human game, even the highest level, always contains some inaccuracies. Maybe mistakes, but definitely inaccuracies. Because when, you, when, when we are having an upper hand, we're winning. So it's complacency. So you can be vigilant for six hours. So that's just, you, we're doing well, and just we, we can let our guards down. And uh, even the game played at a world championship match, most likely you'll find you know, it's 45 good moves four great moves and one slight match. There was a big moment in the recent match, right? Oh, but the, the, the blunders. I'm not even talking about blunders. I'm just talking about high quality games. It's, uh -huh. I cannot imagine a game with, let's say, 50 moves at the highest level without a single inaccuracy. The problem is when you face the machine, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you, you're facing a steady hand. So, and, uh, and one inaccuracy, you will not lose the game, but you, to win the game, you have to demonstrate precision, which is, uh, unheard in a normal human competition. So this is the, this is the greatest challenge. And, it, and because you know that, it puts even more pressure on you. So it's, uh, it's psychologically, it's, it's virtually impossible to fight the machine to win. So maybe just to make draws, it's, 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 it's still fine for the, for, for the strong player. But to win, you have to slightly uh, adjust the rules. So, so you've been out there, uh, we did a debate at Oxford Union about technology uh, and you're something of a skeptic about how fast it's about. Maybe I'm not saying it right, you can correct me, but that seemed like the position. But doesn't the advances in artificial intelligence impress you with what they're, uh, what they're doing? The, what do you call it artificial intelligence? That's not a story. So it's, the, it's, some, some for, it's for some form of an irony because since Alan Turing, you know, first, you know, chess computing algorithm that uh, he, he, he developed even without having a computer, so, and acted as a human CPA to, uh, uh, to write down the moves. Um, uh, the, the concept uh, uh, was that if machine, if machine one day, if machine plays great chess, that will, will constitute some form of artificial intelligence. The irony is the strongest machines 40 years later, 40, 50 years later, they, you know, they do most of, you know, it's, most of, it's, 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 it's about calculations. It's, uh, it's not intelligence the way it has been predicted by the great minds of the, in, in the 40s and 50s, the fathers of, of, of the computer, uh, computer science. But maybe it doesn't have to be the way we, we approach the position because machines, you know, machines are about calculations. So you have a more expert eye than I ever did. I, you know, when I see, when I see a machine play a person, when two machines play each other, it looks weird. The, I don't know what's going on, but when I see a machine play a person, <laughs> I actually can't that easily tell it's not a person, the machine. I mean, if I see a lot of games uh, that, it, it, you know, I, I can't so no, easily tell. No, it's, 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 no. No, I don't think it's a problem, you know, just to identify the computer. Uh, 
It's if you, if you have enough games, I probably I will identify what computers, but the, 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 the software, because they are actually, you know, they, they're quite different. So the way they, they play is very much based on the scale of evaluation developed by their designers. So that's why, you know, it's just, it's not but a surprise. Here's the difference between me and Gary. So I, I'm told that uh, someone who worked on developing databases uh, showed Gary some games and he had to pick out which are the computers or which are the humans. He goes, human, computer, human, human, computer, gets everyone right. How did you figure that out? Oh, well, any time you see that they missed a two or three move combination somewhere in the game, you know it was a human. So he's just reading it through in his mind very quickly <laughs> and seeing that. Yeah, but it's, it's, again, also machines, they have a very, you know, sort of distinctive style. So because, you know, human... But it's less evident against a person, I think, than when the two yeah, but machines it's are it, Yeah, but humans are flexible. So I, mean, I, I, I know that in certain positions I have to disregard some of the key factors uh, because others are more important. I cannot even explain that, but I know that's, you know, that's my, that's intuitively, from my own experience, I know that's the right way to approach the position. But in computer's evaluation, if you have king safety with, you know, say 100 points on top, so that will be always 100 points. So machine cannot be flexible in, in evaluating position after a long calculation. So uh, it depends very much on what is, you know, what is the scale of relation uh, uh, designed by the, by the programmers. And that's, that's how you can identify you know, programs you know, designed in different countries. The machines are getting better, and it's the, um, you know, uh, as for the game of chess, <clears throat> I doubt very much that you know, the, the match, the, there will be volunteers uh, to play in the machines, because I still think that if you have a match, the world champion, Magnus Carlsen, playing machine, eight games, and uh, uh, he must win one game to win the match, I, I still think he has a good chance. Because you know, if, we want to, if we want to present this event as That's the, it, that's very interesting. Yeah, as, as, a so, as a social experiment, you know, yeah. or scientific experiment, mm -hmm. or cultural experiment. So we just have to make sure that the, you know, the, the best human player at his finest hour can beat the machine. So it doesn't matter whether he loses other games, because again, you know, we, can guarantee you know steady you know steady yeah. quality for me, for all games you know we are vulnerable for everything for weather you know for family problems stock market crash machine doesn't care so but uh, uh, um, uh, but what we have to find out whether we're still still able to win the game at you know at, at sort of the best moment and uh, if we if we agree with these rules I think it may it may go on for quite a while. A, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known that. But, but uh, so the, 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 why I think chess is, is is important for computer science is not just you know to, to keep you know organizing matches, man versus machine. I believe that it's 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 very much about uh, merging man plus machine because that's the game where you can have both players you know uh, uh, accompanied by the same hmm. computer, the same hardware, and uh, you know I think the combination of human intuition and machine's brute force of calculation could uh, help us to understand, so what is the most sophisticated algorithm for the future? Uh, because, you know, machines will never, you know, will never close this gap that could be, um, the bridge, you know, can be all, all, only built with, with, so with, with human, with human intuition. So computer working with human can beat a computer. No, but it's it's you need it's just to to make to make decisions, you know, to raise the quality of, of, of decisions. You need still, you know, that's the it's a small portion of human intuition. So it's human and machines are much more powerful.